Carrie, you ready? Go. You had a truck when we first met. I did, it was brown. It was attractive. It was like a giant turd driving down the road. Start over. Chocolate bar. Start it was a giant over. Chocolate bar. <laughs> no, just pre press, press that little red button. Are about to load up and go wash the truck because it's really messy because we have a lot of kids and just know that when we do the tour it usually does not look that good never it never looks that good truck when we first met. I did. It was attractive. Trucks are attractive? And then some are. Hmm. You were attractive in that truck. Okay. Um, Jonah. <laughs> and then you bought your Jetta, mm -hmm. um, which was like a single guy's car, but you were a single guy. I was. And yeah. then since then we've had 15 years of family cars. Well, we had the Jetta for a while and then we got the pilot, the yeah. family car. Minivans, SUVs, mm -hmm. and now you have a truck again. Truck again. Does it make you happy? Yeah, it's very happy. It's a big, like, manly truck, too. It's not like, you know, a city truck. Way big. It's way big. Mm -hmm. I was scared to drive it, but I do. I mean, I wanted to jump right in this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we sent the kids away, all but one. And we're going to give y'all a tour of our dually. Every day people approach us and ask us about our truck. Um, Sitting in the Rite Aid parking lot yesterday, just minding my own business. Mm -hmm. Some guy starts walking around the truck. Yeah, every, every campground, every stop, every grocery store run, people stop and ask us about it. It does look pretty different. Um, mm -hmm. We have what's called a... Cowtown sleeper. Cowtown sleeper. You ready for a tour? Jonah's gonna help. You wanna help, Jonah? Yeah. What we ended up buying was the Ram 3500 with the 6.7 liter Cummins engine and the Ison transmission. Dually wheels in the back, but what stops everybody and has them come over and talk to us is the Cowtown sleeper, which is a little cab that gets added to the bed of the truck. And it's got two seats in there and a table that you can put across there so you can put a bed. We don't use it for that, obviously. It's just the seats and the extra room for the kids to be in because we have six people that needed to fit in the truck, and we didn't want to have somebody sitting in the front seat with us between Lindsay and myself while we're driving down the road because that would be pretty tight. Plus, we have two dogs we travel with, and we, and we didn't want dogs. the dogs underneath the kids' feet in the back seat. Yeah. So we needed more seating. You can um, customize the Cowtown to be a different configuration than what we have? Yeah, they can do uh, different windows or no windows on the side. They have, we have a door on the back, so it's easier for the kids to get into. And the windows on the back can be added or not. Uh, we paid do, extra for that. <laughs> you can do different carpet on the inside or you can have it not carpeted at all. And it looks kind of small from the outside, but it's actually pretty roomy. Yeah, I can fit in there. Jonah, do you want to show us? Can you show us? Yes. This is the inside of the Cowtown sleeper. It's really roomy. Two seats on each side. Two seats on each side. And even a light right here. 
Yeah, we added a light. There's no AC back there. All right, so here's the inside. Yep. So you see there's a seat there with the back. It's got seat belts. And it's got this table that yeah. slides across. So you can go in the middle and the kids can be on either side and they can have play their games or eat their lunch. Um, we also took out the window in the back of the truck here. There's Lindsay. And um, because we didn't want the dogs jumping back and forth through here over the baby since we took the window out, that's why we had the door put on so the kids and the dogs could get in through the back. And it's pretty roomy back here. Uh -huh. There's lots of headroom. Yep. Uh, like you said, it's carpeted with, we use the black carpet. I think they have a tan color that you can also get or you can just leave it with the bare material if you'd rather that. And we got the sliding windows. You can also do stationary windows, uh, but we figured since there was no AC back here, it'd be good for the kids to open up the windows and have some airflow. Okay. Do you see Johnny back there? No. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was our Cowtown sleeper that we put on. Uh, it does come with a lot of different configurations and additions that you can put on there. Uh, two different cab styles that I know of. Uh, the one that we got is called the Road Runner. There's also another one which is uh, at flat top. It's like uh, even with the top of the cab of the truck. And <clears throat> I think that one you can get configured. I, I don't think it has a door that you can put on there. But uh, for seating arrangements, you can get it so that it has the seats on two sides like we have or a bench seat that would be facing towards the rear of the truck. Or I've seen even where they have uh, seats on three three sides. So the, the two sides and then the, uh, the, the back, which would be backed up to the seats of the truck. So a lot of seating different con uh, configurations that you can put in there. It was tempting to do the bench seat because we could have had an extra seat, but we already mm -hmm. have an extra seat in the middle between the two boys. At which we actually use a lot. Some Taryn or Jude will take a break from being back there if the dogs are driving them crazy or they just want some extra space or if they want to plug into something sometimes they'll yeah. um, be there so they can have an electrical outlet because we didn't add outlets to the back. Yeah and we were worried about the dogs having room back there with the, yeah. the bench seat. Yeah. So uh, it works <clears throat> for us. It's nice for them to have the yeah. table to play games or draw or write or do schoolwork or whatever they're doing that day so yeah that was a great thing to have put in there it actually has uh, three parts to it because it's supposed to be for a bed you can put a bed across there but um, we mainly use it for the middle part for the table in between the two kids do we throw that away yeah we, like the first stop yeah <laughs> we <laughs> threw it away out. we were never we gonna figured use it we were that. never gonna use it we didn't know where to put the parts we didn't so. have storage yeah, for it they so. were kind of heavy just get rid of things you don't need yeah um, I think all together with everything that we put on ours it was probably about forty three hundred dollars um, but worth it. It was expensive, but cheaper than a second vehicle to travel. Yeah. In. Maintaining a second vehicle, insurance on a second vehicle, the inconvenience of being in two different cars, mm -hmm. um, and just the communication that requires constantly on the road. Of course, there's the six door trucks, which are awesome. That is but so far out of our budget. It's like <laughs> sixty to seventy thousand dollars for yeah. that type of addition. It's way more expensive than adding an addition. Yeah. So for us, it works. So we actually have an extra seat, which is nice. Um, if somebody wants to move around or is uncomfortable, mm -hmm. um, or if somebody's sick, we can hold them Just up separate. in the back. <laughs> we can separate them. Not that that does a lot of good, but yeah, uh, it was worth it for us. I think it was worth every penny. It's been it's been good. Mm -hmm. We would do it again. Oh, totally. Totally yeah. do it again. And they did a great job matching the paint to the truck, which I thought was going to be really, really difficult for them to do. I wanted it to be black because I was afraid that it wasn't going to look intentional. It was mm. going to be a, like a bright cherry color or something, yeah. and it was going to look really bad. But it they matched they, it really good. They, they did, did it really well. Great job. So we used Cowtown sleepers outside of Dallas. They're in Fort Worth. Fort Worth, yeah. They're in Fort Worth, and we would definitely use them again. I know they had a fire while they were actually building ours, and so I'm not really sure what the status of their business is, but I, last I heard, they were trying to sell it and start building again. So definitely check them out if that's something you're interested in. Yep. It's been a good thing for us. Great, great thing, yeah. We did not um, consider allowing for extra time to get out the door or run errands because it seems like we are always stopping and talking to people about it, and now we can send them to this video. Yeah. I should have some cards printed with the link to this video Good on idea. it. And we'll put a link to the business that we purchased it from down in the comments. 
so you can check them out. I also wanted to mention that we bought the fifth wheel hitch that attaches to the factory puck system in the bed of the, the, the Ram trucks. And we moved it back towards the rear of the vehicle and down as far as it would go to help out with the turning radius. Uh, the, the other part that we got was the side winder that attaches to the front of the RV. And what that does is it moves the pivot point back from the hitch uh, towards the rear about 22 inches and that allowed us to have a lot more uh, room for turning so we don't have to worry about the front of the RV hitting the cow town. The Sidewinder also comes in two different weight classifications. There's a 16,000 and a 19,000 pound option. We ended up getting the 19,000 just because of the weight of our RV and we'll put the links for all this down in the description. Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up to the video and subscribe to our channel.